Hey church, I'm Colleen, and it's an honor to share with you today as we continue in our famous Last Words series. This week we're talking about Jesus' words from the cross, and this scripture is powerful. We're going to be reading together out of the book of John, chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. Let's read it together. This is what it says. Jesus knew that his mission was now finished. And to fulfill scripture, he said, I am thirsty. A jar of sour wine was sitting there, so they soaked it in a sponge in it, put it on a hyssop branch, and held it up to his lips. When Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Some observations, some thoughts from this scripture. One, that Jesus knew the moment that he had paid the full price. Jesus hanging on that cross in pain and agony, taking all of our sin, being abandoned by the Father, he knew that his mission was now finished. And it says to fulfill the scripture. And that scripture was in Psalm 69, verse 21. It says, but instead they gave me poison for food. They offered me sour wine for my thirst. And as Jesus fulfilled the scripture saying, I am thirsty, he was given this sour wine, held it up to his lips. And when he tasted it, he said, it is finished. I love many scholars say that even though he had previously rejected the wine that would have been used to alleviate pain, he now accepted it. And many scholars believe that perhaps it was to wet his dry throat to be able to proclaim his final victory. It is finished means that debt has been canceled. You know, sin is the debt that we owed to God and Jesus paid for it completely. The Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Every sin we ever have or ever will commit by giving it unto Jesus, he has taken away our sin and our debt has been paid. The debt required was the life. And so he gave us his sinless, perfect life and died on the cross. And this is the moment that it is finished. Pastor Micah said before that the only thing that we add to our salvation is the sin that makes it necessary. You see, church, when Jesus said, it is finished, he said, I completed the work. That we no longer have work to be accepted by God. That we are accepted. We are called. We are chosen. We have nothing to earn for salvation. That Jesus has completed that work. I love this thought. He bowed his head and gave up his spirit. What a beautiful image that Jesus, when it was all done, gave his spirit unto the Father, that it is finished. Today, church, I want to encourage you wherever you are, that there is nothing you need to do to earn your salvation. Simply receiving the spirit of God, simply asking Jesus to take away your sin it has already been done. And receiving that and saying yes to Jesus, being the Lord and Savior of our life, that we would give him our spirit, that we would give him our life up to him to use how he wills it for his glory and his honor. Church, we don't have to do anything. There is no work that needs to be done. We operate from victory because of what Jesus said on the cross. It is finished. So today, church, I want to encourage you in that. Whatever you're walking through today, whatever you're working through, when you feel like you're not enough or you're too much or you have, have not earned your right, all of us are undeserving. But Christ, while we were yet sinners, died for us, saying, my victory is now your victory. So I encourage you today to live from a place of victory because Jesus said, it is finished. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.